Stupid. Right, so a lot of you guys will recognize this idiot. This is the internals of my Tesseract. It's not happy right now. Not happy! And if you guys remember, about a month ago, I made a really stupid mistake where I basically called lipos something that they weren't. I just made another mistake, and this one is arguably worse. So if we take a look at the Tesseract right here, you can see we've got all the stuff. We've got the pusher, we've got the rev trigger, we got everything. This is the most important part of the whole blaster. That's the flywheel cage and flywheels. Now, if you don't know what this is, allow me to break it down for you. Flywheels spin really, really fast, and that is what propels the dart. So when you actually pull the trigger, that just shoves the dart into the flywheels right there, which flings it through the barrel. Now that's all good on its own, but what's connected to the wheels is arguably even more important. The flywheel cage itself. This one is a, it's a mid-tier nugget. It holds the flywheels just fine and is made out of metal, so it feels very nice and really heavy. And this blaster has a swappable flywheel cage setup due to this little thing right here, which has an XT60 connector on the bottom. So you literally just plug them in and unplug them like you would with any regular LiPo battery. But here's the thing, when you make a flywheel and flywheel cage setup, you have to be kind of deliberate about it because only certain pairs of wheels and cages will fit together. This is a very optimized setup using out of darts in Satanto wheels, which are plastic and they have these sort of concave setups on the outsides to give the dart a better grip. But the thing is, there is another type of flywheels, metal flywheels, which is basically the same thing, but they're made out of metal. They're heavier and they have a longer spin up time, but the reason that people use metal wheels is because, oh, they sound good. The concept is simple, metal cage, metal wheels. It's gonna be one cantankerous nugget, but it should sound really cool and be very pleasant to use. Uh. Some of you all, especially those in the modding space, can already tell everything that is wrong with this image, but if you don't understand what's wrong here, allow me to break it down for you. There are two variations of flywheel cages, standard cages and canted cages. Canted cages are very different than standard cages. This is a standard cage. A canted cage, however, would have the wheels at slight angles like this and then like that, which causes them to rotate slightly differently giving a natural spin on the darts as you shoot them through. There was only one cage that did canted well, and that was the DRS cage or the Dr. Snickers cage. And if you find one of those nowadays, you earn a gold trophy. At the same time though, Worker makes budget canted cages, which you can pretty much get wholesale, and they are just about the same price as this standard metal cage right here, except they come in fancy colors like blue or pink. <laughs> you betcha there are specifically designed wheels for standard cages and completely different specifically designed wheels for canted cages. I didn't look much into this. I just clicked on these wheels when I was looking for a second flywheel cage and it said, oh yes, worker metal flywheels for strife. So I bought them and imagine my surprise after I put this stupid nugget together and phase one phone called me saying that these are canted wheels. And I literally said, nah. There's no way, these, these aren't, these aren't canted wheels, there's, there's no way. So I go back to the Out of Darts website, I look at these wheels, it says nothing about canted wheels until you scroll down to the description and look at the compatible cages. Transparent worker canted cage. Worker metal canted cage. They're canted wheels. And you know what that means? While they do fit in this flywheel cage just right, you're basically cutting your performance in half. In half. And I, I'm being serious. If you look at these like from the side and you see, you see, look, they have spin on them. They are designed to give spin on the darts. This is, and I'm not even making this up, a not so canted cage. And that's really depressing because this thing right here, flywheels, cage, and motors combined is worth about 60 United States dollars. 60 bucks. And to get these flywheels off, oh betcha, you, you bet you have to have the machinery, the tech know-how to figure out how to do it, and the patience of our Lord and Savior himself to not break these motors getting the flywheels off. And you know I don't have time to do that. I have to work on the rest of this stupid nugget. And so I have a couple options here because I haven't put the motor spanning board on yet, thankfully, because I don't even know if I want to do that now. I might want to save this for another cage that I'm going to have to inevitably get in the future because I still want an all-metal cage and wheel setup. 
I can either just live with this mistake and accept the fact that I have this thing now and I now cannot get a canted cage without getting more wheels or get another standard wheel set without getting another cage. Or if any of you guys wants this thing, you can just ask me and chances are I'll be willing to just give it to you if you're willing to pay for shipping. This is genuinely so dumb. I figured I would just tell you all about this because I don't know what to do anymore. And if anybody has any suggestions for this thing, leave them in the comment section. I don't know what I wanna do with it. I don't know if there's anything that I can do with it. Once I finish fixing this thing, I am still going to at least try this in the Tesseract to see how it works. It might end up being a diamond in the rough. It might end up working perfectly. I genuinely have no idea. But from everything that I've heard, it's gonna be a nugget and it basically cuts the performance in half and is virtually useless. So yeah, let me know in the comments. Ugh. Thanks for watching, bye. Look at this. Worker aluminum flywheels for standard cage. Standard. Standard canted cage. <sighs> if you click on this, that's a canted cage. Completely different than a regular cage. The wheels are different.